उपासनीय उपात्तवास वटशा कि मूल तद्धाम दाक्षिण्यजुषा स्वूर्त जागर्तुचि मम बोधरूप अद्राक्ष अक्षीणदयानिधान आचार्यम वटमूलभागे मौन मंदस्मितूषि महर्षिलोक तमोनुद विद्राविता शेषतमो गणेन मुद्रा विशेषेण मुहुर्मुनीना निरस्यमायां दयया विधत्ते देवो महान स्तत्वमसीति बोधम ममाद्य देवो वटमूलवासी कृपा विशेषात्कृत सन्निधान ओंकारूपदिश्य विद्यागध्वान्तमको चूडोत्तम सिद्धचंद्रचारुकलिका छंजक्षिका भास्वरो लीलादग्धविलोलगामशलभश्रेयो दशाग्रे स्फुर अंतस्फूर्जदारोहतिमीरप्राग्भारमुच्चाड़ चेत सदमनियोगिना विजयते ज्ञान प्रदीपो हर अपार सचिसुखवारीराशे योर्मी भुवन समस्त गुहा तम रमण गभीर चिंता विहन हृदय चिंतमी देहम ऋण्मय वज्जात्मक बुद्धिर्न तस्तो नाहम तत्तभावसुप्ति समये सिद्धात्म सद्भाव कोहम भावयुत कुतो वरधिया दृष्टवात्मनिष्ठात्म सोहम स्फूर्तया अरुणाचल शिव पूर्णो विभाति स्वयं योत प्रवेश मम वाच मीं प्रसुप्ता संजीवयत्किल शक्तिधर स्वधाना अन्यां सहस्रचरणश्रवणत्गादीन प्राणान नमो भगवते पुषा तोभ्यं फॉर द लास्ट ऑलमोस्ट फोर्टी डेज वी हैव बीन सीइंग दिस उल्लद नारपद एंड वी हैव रीच द थर्टी नाइन्थ वर्स Bhagwan has revealed the path of inquiry, atma vichar, the center of Uladhinarpad, and the entire Vedanta Shastra also is exposed, crystal clear. and the dahara vidya the hridaya sadhana it is also revealed in the 20 28th 29th verse
And now we have reached the last portion, last two verses. Thirty-ninth verse is Baddanan enum matte bandha mukti chinta nai gal. In a Sanskrit, Baddhatva bhave sati moksha chinta. Bandhastu kasyeti vicharya. Vicharanena. Siddhe swayam swatmani nitya mukte kwa bandha chinta kwa cha moksha chinta. Even bondage is only superimposed in the self. Because the moment you identify with the body, bondage is there. And that identification also is not Shashwata. In deep sleep every day, there is no body, no mind, no ego, no world. And there is only that Sukham, happiness. The moment the I thought arises, the mind arises, the body is felt, the world is seen, bondage is also felt. Actually, when the bondage is felt, you seek liberation. Bondage can be any form. In Bhagavan Ramana's life, bondage was in the form of death. It is the intense form of experiencing bondage. Because when you identify with the body, the only thing which is sure about that life is death. That is why body is another name for death. When you carry body, you are carrying death. In Valmiki Ramayana, Rama tells Bharata, when you walk, death is walking. When you sit, death is sitting. When you talk, death is talking. Sahaiva mrityur rajati. Saha mrityuhu nishidhate. Gatva sudirgam adhvanam saha mrityuhu nivartate. So, identity with body is limitation. Identity with body creates all the problems. Bondage comes from that identity. And that very identity is not true. So, when you enquire who I am, what I am not this body, then what is my real nature? And when you enquire what is my I, bandhastu kasyeti vicharanena, when you enquire to whom is this bondage? It is to me, to this I. And what is this I? What is the nature of this I? Then you find, kwabandha chinta kwacha moksha chinta. Neither bondage exists nor liberation. It is Siddhe Swayam Swatmani Nitya Mukte. When the ever liberated, ever free Atma, Swaswarupa is revealed, where is bondage, where is liberation? So this is the highest at last, the end. Hmm? Um, the Upadesha Sara verse is here quoted. Banda Vidatta Parasukha Mutravar Indanilai nitral unti para, iraipani nitralam unti para. Samskritena Benda muktiati tam param sukham, vindati haji vastu daivikaha. That state where there is neither bondage nor liberation. Nobody has bound you. That is why every talks Bhagavan reveals or makes us think what is there in deep sleep. If bondage is real, it should be there in deep sleep. Nobody feels any bondage in deep sleep. The body also is not felt. The mind is not felt. The ego is not felt. The world is not felt. If world is real, it should be available in deep sleep. It is not there. Prapancho yati vidyeta sushupta upalabhyatam if prapancha is real, let it be got in deep sleep also. It is not there. So, 
it has no existence apart from the sensory plane so the body the mind the ego everything comes in the waking state and in the dream state also the mind is operating the waking the body is there the mind is there i am there in dream the body is not there the mind alone operates i am there in deep sleep neither the body exists nor the mind we have to pause a little whether the i is there i thought is not there but what exists there is my real swarupa what exists there is existence it is me it is the satta that can never be left out that can never be we were going on ignoring that existence satta so to pay our attention to take our attention to that plane where that mere existence is there the moment you recognize it you find that liberation is here now it is not after changing something சித்தமாய் நித்தமுக்தன் தான் நிற்க நித்தமுக்தன் நித்தியமுக்த நித்தியமுக்த ஸ்வரூப தட் எவர் லிபரேட்டட் செல்ஃப் வென் இட் இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் அவைலபிள் தான் நிற்க நிற்காதேர் பந்த சிந்தை த மொமெண்ட் யூ என்கொயர் யூ ஃபைண்ட் தட் தெர் இஸ் நோ லிபரேஷன் நோ பாண்டேஜ் ஞாத்தே தத்வே கஹ சம்சார ஹாவ் தத்துவ ஜான வெரி சம்சார when light comes where is darkness the moment when you know who you are you have neither body nor mind nor ego nor world nothing you are that nitya shuddha buddha mukta swarupa so mukti chindai munnirkumo then to whom is mukti who is going to attain mukti because mukti is your swarupa this first we should not say this is said in the last verse so those who have come today they have to listen from the first verse aro goriya get up over you will listen today and say today we listen to swami said there is neither mukti nor bandha <laughs> no use of sadhana nothing so the sadhana is also pointed out everywhere sadhana is that atma vichara and anything that helps atma vichara is all sadhana to keep the atma vichara alive the i i i i that is the center bhagwan gives that vichara like this as aham vritti aham spurti aham bodha that aham vritti everybody knows when we become angry aham vritti is so strong when someone insults you aham vritti is so strong when your name comes in the newspaper if it is not in the obituary column the i ho oh, this is my name i so what is this i this feeling you have to wonder at that feeling that throb within i i i i i you catch hold of that then you catch hold of the center of sadhana because the body the mind the senses the vasanas everything is tethered to that one pillar that i that jiva bhava my body my mind my that what we call ego so you catch hold of that and enquire where from it arises and when you look at it you find that it arises in the heart center bhagwan calls that spot as heart talam it is the talam sthalam means talam it is the sthanam in tamil we call it tanam tanam yedu udikkum talam yedu 
where from it arises that that purna vastu will not arise something else arises it's actually a mantra japa is always happening aham 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 i i i whatever mantra you may chant you cannot chant that much this movement is constantly happening and even in dream you can see the movement of the eye the throb of eye the wave of eye the vibration of eye and inwardly you catch hold of that the throb devoid of all its covering like angry i desire desirous i ambitious i no mere i abdi okkanthu paakanum especially when you are affected you keep yourself close yourself inside a room and sit and look just create a distance between you and your mind and see the throb of the i i i i i me 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 he told me he insulted me my life what will happen to me? even spiritual sadhana you can enquire who i have not attained i want to attain my mind is not good it is all me 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 so you stay with that me you stay with that i it is the condensed energy actually it is your body really in gita bhagwan says in while you sleep this manifestation disappears when you wake up this manifestation happens actually this is you avyaktad vyaktaya sarvaha prabhavanti aharagame ratri agame praliyante tatraiv avyakta samjnage bhutva bhutva praliyate it comes up goes back comes up disappears comes up disappears manifest vanishes so when it manifests you catch hold of it and just become familiar with that throb this is this is the initiation you learn a strange technique a very unique method of meditation that is catching hold of a central throb spandana a spandana that is happening inside you a throb you are not chanting any mantra you are not using any mantra but you are getting used to the mantra of atma the inner one is doing a constant mantra japa a kind of madhyama walk hmm? the words they are para absolute silence then a small throb then it becomes visible then it comes through the mouth then it is called sound vaikhari but you catch hold of not vaikhari just this inner movement of i then dive deep 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 that is the aham spurti the i thought becomes spurana because becomes spurana spandanakara then you find that the aham vritti the jiva bhava it is actually every day as it disappears in deep sleep in the waking state also while you enquire doing atma vichara during atma vichara it will vanish and then you find in the absence of this i thought there is a fullness parama purna sat as bhagwan says pundramam purul ponga that that completeness that wholeness is there it has nothing to do with the body or the mind it is the full vastu the purna vastu 
so that you recognize within you nitya muktan tan nirka nirka adir bandha chintai then you find that there is no bandha there is no bondage you know a spot within you where there is no bondage where there is absolute liberation so the moment that jiva bhava the hankara is traced to the source you find that in the absence of that i thought there is that pure consciousness shuddha bodha swabhava where neither bondage is there nor liberation it is the eternally free truth ever free in that ever free state the jivan mukta abides bhagwan was eternally in that state that is why in our thought that even we are in bondage murugnar swami in one of his songs he says very often we used to feel that bhagwan will see us our trouble our problem we want to present before him our trouble but the moment we go before him we also feel we are nitya mukta so we cannot tell his our trouble but it is just like going under a blue light you feel blue light everywhere blue color the moment you come out no blue color so when you are in his presence you also feel you are liberated that that energy you know it it plays upon you the mauna vyakhya prakatita para brahma tattva so that moment you feel because that is actually true but you what we think uh, that is not true when i come out the bondage is there that is true but actually what you experience in his presence is your real swarupa what the upanishad tells you tatvamasi that is truth he say uh, it is all true for one hour the moment we come out bondage is real that is why that you know durvasana pratikara dashakam we said tatvamasi is not true all our problem is true so we go to some jyotishya astrologer adhyashtamiti navamiti chaturdashiti jyotishkavache upavasanti bhaktya shrute stvaho tatvamasi iti vakyam na vishvasanti adbhutam etad eva and shruti mata tells you tatvamasi i don't believe but jolsia says something now it is shani has started so much faith suchar pita bhagavatam says the person has offered himself to sorrow even if you call him out he will not come out he wants to be inside grief he has chosen that path of grief as some cinema actors are there they will always act a tragedy uh, one of the old cinema actor who always played a tragedy role one day we were having bhagavad gita talk in one place in kerala i don't want to say the place so to so all ananda and he came and sat in front bus everything went away all tragedy <laughs> everyone got affected by his tragedy face so why you are acting that and who is this actor who is this i the moment you trace nitya muktan tan nirka that ever liberated being alone is there nirkader bandha chintai that very moment there is no bandha chinta no thought about bandha no thought about bondage because bondage is only thought in deep sleep there is no thought so atma alone is there what is the difference in waking state thoughts are there that is the only thing actually that is the essence what patanjali says 
ಯೋಗಶಿತ್ತವೃತ್ತಿ ನಿರೋಧ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಬಟ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ವೇದಾಂಧಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎ ಡಿಫರ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಒಪಿನಿಯನ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಜನರಲಿ ಯೋಗಿ ಸೇ ಚಿತ್ತವೃತ್ತಿ ಯು ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಮೇಕ್ ದ ಸೀಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೀಸ್ ಬಟ್ ವೇದಾಂತಿ ಸೇಸ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಚಿತ್ತವೃತ್ತಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸೀ ದ ರೋಪ್ ನೋ ಚಿತ್ತವೃತ್ತಿ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ದ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಸೀ ಸ್ನೇಕ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಯು ಮಿಸ್ಅಪ್ರಹೆಂಡ್ ದ ರೋಪ್ ಅ ಸ್ನೇಕ್ ಯು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ನೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಟ್ರೂತ್ there is no reason for thinking either you know that everything is atma everyone is atma then you have no ragadvesha neither attachment nor aversion then the mind naturally becomes no mind neither i exist nor you exist nor this world exists only that shuddha chaitanya is there then to whom will i get attached whom will i hate absolutely nat ko moha ha kashoka ekatvam anupashyata neither delusion nor grief one non dual truth atma alone exists freedom is there you remove the cause the duality only ananda is there this is one way of doing it or you settle things within you bhagwan says settle the things inside you how to settle find out the cause for bondage that seed of misery is this i thought ahankar and search what that i thought is focus the light of attention on that i thought then you find that the i thought also is not real nitya muktan nitya mukta alone is there nitya muktan tan nirka nirkadir bandha chindai mukti chindai mun nirkumo sometimes you know people used to ask bhagwan uh, bhagwan how to meditate even for that bhagwan will say find out the meditator who wants to meditate sometimes that will become very powerful meditation you sit for meditation and enquire who wants to meditate because a dead body will not desire for meditation a doll will not desire meditation so someone inside says i want to meditate and who is this i what is this i you just stay with that i i i i i i and that is meditation so to i am bound who is bound i and what is this i you stay with that i then you find that the i will merge in the heart it is not real and what exists is nitya mukta so this is the 39th verse and there is a poem owned eternity is the poem when delved deep into one's inner being with the quest who am i the i reveals itself as the self effulgent ever free light of awareness self effulgent swayam prakash ever free nitya mukta light of awareness as the shuddha bodha swarupa could bondage or ignorance stay in the atman neither can ignorance stay in the atman nor can bondage how could darkness ever inhabit the sun the self is never bound and is ever attained freedom or nirvana is the very nature of the self 
own eternity by knowing your oneness with that you own that eternity by your knowing your oneness with that so this is the 39th verse mudinjurthu last apada slogathukku vandach manathukottaang uruvam aruvam uruvaruvam moonrai urumukti ennil uraippan uruvam aruvam uruvaruvam aayum ahantai uruvalidal mukti udaridu unar ulladhu naarpadu started with ulladhu and the last word is unar ulladhu unar ulladhu unarvagum undi para idhukku commentary maadhiri upadesham undi arla ulladhe unarvagum undi para and unarve naamayulam undi para sattva bhasika chit kovetara sattayahi chit chittayahi aham ulladhu unarvagum undi para existence is awareness this is a answer for a very profound question in vedanta that is Uh, generally we will say in deep sleep we are not aware and another statement is the jnani is aware even in deep sleep so partially understanding this statement many try to keep awake and in the process go to sleep <laughs> like our shivaratri and who is trying to be awake is it the atma or the jeeva bhava it is the jeeva bhava and the jeeva bhava says i will be aware actually the jeeva has no awareness at all jeeva is only a thought it is only chida bhasa and what is awareness ulladu unarvagum the very existence is awareness the very existence is awareness the moment you recognize that the existence is awareness then and you identify with that and you no more you are dehypnotized you have woken up from the illusion that you are the ego then you know that in deep sleep also that was aware of itself you need not keep the ego awake neither the waking state nor the dream state nor the deep sleep state affects you because you are the awareness which is here now in the dream in the deep sleep also and that awareness don't need the help of this ego it is ever aware by its own light swayam prakasha and all this waking dreaming and deep sleep are all happening in the buddhi buddher jagaranam swapnaha susupti riti vrittaya it is only vritti in this waking state is a vritti dream is a vritti and even deep sleep is a uh, abhava pratyayalambana vritti hi nidra as patanjali in yoga sutra says sleep also is a vritti because what kind of vritti abhava pratyayalambana vritti a thought of absence a thought of absence is vritti but behind that abhava pratyaya and behind the dream where there are many illusory things are seen and in the waking state also all these states are happening in which screen the screen is the chit the chaitanya the pure awareness which is ever aware of itself aparilupta chaitanya swabhavah lo it cannot uh, Uh, become dim it cannot disappear 
There is no dimming of that awareness there. There is no becoming, disappearing in that awareness. It is ever aware of its existence. It is Sat Chit Ananda. It is Swayam Prakasha. So that Swayam, Swayam Prakashatva will not get affected. It is ever available. So the moment you recognize it, you become aware that even in deep sleep you are awake. And deep sleep is, sometimes it is there now also. Not sometimes actually. In the deep sleep only this waking and dream are happening. The awareness is behind this. So, okay. Ulladu unar. Ulladu is existence. Unar is become aware. So wake up. So this is ulladu narpadu. Ulladu unar. Irup. This is another word which Bhagavan often uses. Irup. Existence. Easiness. Now, we are coming to the concluding verse. Urum Mukti. Moondr Aam. Last verse Bhagavan said, neither liberation exists nor bondage. Now here this is three kind of mukti. It is actually not, Bhagavan is not saying, it is a purva paksha. It is usually perhaps, many people say like that. At least generally even in Sampradaya we say Jivan Mukti and Krama Mukti. Or we can say Sadhya Mukti. So, all these things are said. Uruvam Aruvam Uruvaruvam Yennil Uraipan Liberation with form, without form and both with form and formless. Rupin Yarupin Yubhayat Mikaja Muktistri Rupedi Vidovadanti Idam trayam ya vivinakya handhihi tasyaha pranashaha paramartha muktihi ahandai uru vajidal mukti ayum ahandai uru vajidal mukti the ego which is scrutinizing all these things as long as the ego is there there is no mukti How can one person, the ego, recognize that one is liberated? Once um, Ganeshana's sister Saraswati, um, she asked Kanakama, um, she asked, how can we know that we have got it? Adi Adanja Achini Anakamas quoted Thai Manuvar. Aduve Anal Aduve Sulum. He says, The moment you attain it, that itself will tell you. Because its very nature is effulgence, luminosity, Swayam Prakashatva. So, the moment you recognize it, that itself will reveal. Aduve anal aduve sullum. So, uru vajidal mukti. When the ego is removed, liberation is your very nature. There will surely come a time when the jiva, exhausted with all sorts of pleasure and pain, and the melodies that inevitably follow doership and enjoyership, at last, thirst for real peace or complete repose. 
what we really want we should be very honest are we ready for that vishranti janma mrityu jara tapta jana vishranti daini sita sasram tane tapta means burnt boiled by what again taking birth again dying and all this nonsense of living going to school going to office getting married children all problems in worldly life enough 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 purum purum thonu alam alam you know bhagavata when we bhagavata when we say tell bhagavata story we all know that story of putana she wanted to give poison to krishna so she took krishna and kept him in her lap and was giving in uh, the form of uh, in she came in disguise as a good lady and was trying to give milk but it was poison but she got liberated she got liberated and uh, great mahatmas bhagavata karas they say how she got liberated generally we can say because she had the touch of krishna but the real cause they say is she she screamed you know what she screamed she said enough enough it will appear that she is saying munja munja alam iti prabhashini she says alam means enough munja munja become leave me leave me but krishna said ah ha i am waiting for someone who should say this <laughs> nobody in the world is saying nobody is fed up with the world nobody is saying make me liberated make me liberated enough enough now this even if it is putana she will get liberated because she says enough 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 of this world people are not enough of this world they have many things to do so even if you give liberation if along with everything liberation is also there okay <laughs> otherwise mm-hmm. so in tamil when shaiva siddhanta scholar said uh in a talk he said if you all chant shiva nama you can go to kailas today you all chant you will go to kailas and another person stood up anga thair sadam kadaki <laughs> <laughs> he said if we go to kailasa will we get thair sadam curd rice there only that standard is there wherever we go we want all these things so when the person is ready is fed up with the world fed up with everything shruti bi pratipatti in gita bhagavan says enough enough of even knowledge i want that vishranti that quietude even after knowing vedanta taroli vidyarani swami says vishranti daha vishranti daha a thirst comes for that quietude to become still 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 within to withdraw from everything that great uparati the thirst for uparati comes i am not ready to do any action not a great laziness descends on him to become even to think a thought he is lazy hmm? tasya alasya dhurinasya he is alasya dhurina he says i am not ready even to think vishranti masadya turiya talpe he has found a good cot sofa what is that sofa turiya in the jagrat also very busy sopana also too busy <laughs> deep sleep is 
ड्यूरेशन इज वेरी लेस देर इज ए बिगिनिंग एंड एंड प्राग भाव एंड प्रत्युम सा भाव सो आई वॉन्ट ए स्टेट वेर टाइमलेसली आई कैन हैव रेस्ट and that spot is turiya talpa vishranti ma asadhya turiya talpe nalla yoga taravali il irukku unga vendha than kadaikum vishwadhya vastha tridayo paristhe beyond jagrat swapana and sushupti so that is the state of a jivan mukta hmm, where he is not ready for anything anything when that kind of you know when the mind comes to that state when it is ready then one word from the master he will sit mahavakya will have that much effect he will not bother even to think about the verbal meaning the essence will go directly inside vaakirandu niraindu nindrador vaakiya purulanavan vaakirandu the word just melt away and the purul the essence of the word that alone shines forth that alone shines forth so how he got it because he was ready what what is the element by which a person deserves this we we will generally we will say vairagya and what kind of vairagya he is fed up with everything this world and that world he is not ready to do any karma to think any thought karma is this world thought is that world he has become lazy in both planes he is not ready for meditation also he wants to go beyond that plane also to abide in himself so that is where bandha mukti atitam param sukham vindati iha here he attains not after death here now he attains that a repose complete vishranti at this juncture the word seek liberation that is the supreme state of rest and peace either from the shastras or from a guru reaches his ears this message about mukti awakens the inner being the ancient one the primordial poet his power sets to movement ecstatic reveries about the state of nirvana all the puranas mythologies and theologies are the progeny of this yearning for the transcendental other that is awakened in the human soul the thirst for freedom and the descriptions about this state in the scriptures have led to various assumptions regarding the nature of liberation such as liberation while still in the body jivan mukti liberation after the body is given up videha mukti freedom is the very nature of the self and will be revealed only through jnana it is not a state of body or mind however lofty these states might be the mental states they all come and go our real nature is not a state but it is existence awareness and bliss when one enquire into the real nature of the i it is revealed as the pure self this natural state of one's self awareness which makes itself felt as the spurti i i is jnana so this is bhagwan's great upadesha there is a poem the bubble swallows the ocean <laughs> actually kabir also has written like that and talks with ramana maharshi bhagwan 
reads from Kabir, uh, where he says, "People all know that ocean can contain the bubble, but rare indeed is a person who knows that the bubble can contain the ocean." When exhausted with pleasures and pains, and the maladies of doership and enjoyership, इधर वायरा क्यों? When exhausted with pleasures and pains, you go from pleasure to pain and from pain to pleasure. This is life. Swami Vivekananda says, when too much sorrow comes to a person. Swami says, "Maya will give you slap after slap in your face, and you start weeping. Too much you weep, Vairagya will come. You will wake up. So, at the brink, where you might escape, she will put a chocolate in your mouth. Very easy to deceive you. One TV serial, one mobile something you see, you forget. Ah, joyful life is so happy." getting ready for the next sorrow you forget everything gre kim kim na vismaranti ha maya mohita chetasah as bhagavata says all this deluded folk what what do they not forget generally we forget see sorrow if you can utilize like uh, good for in a fertility for vairagya वाला के ना चलो मैनुअर लाइक ए मैनुअर यू यूज इट लाइक ए मैनुअर वेन सॉरो कम्स कुक इट वेल टेक इट इन साइड यू नीड नॉट रीड भर्तृह इज वैराग्य शतक युअर ओन वैराग्य सहस्रम इज इन यू हेव सो मच कॉस एवरी मोमेंट फॉर वैराग्य बट नथिंग हैपन्स भर्तृह से this person is really drunkard he has drunk deep from maya's liquor and the person is walking tipsy apdi dena solva so adityasya gadagatai raharah samchiyade jeevitam sun rises and it sets one day is over व्यापारैर् बहुभार कार्य गुरुभि कालोपि न ज्ञायते हि सो बिसी 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 नो टाइम फॉर सत्संग नो टाइम फॉर आत्मविचार नो टाइम एंड वेरी प्राउडली ही सेस यू सी आई डू नॉट हैव टाइम टुडे आई एम वेरी बिसी व्हाई शताभिषेक एटीएथ इयर we do not know how more days and not for simply 80 year any year you can die any time you can die somebody said in the rhyme you know you will die then also you die this time adityasya gatagatai raharah samchiyate jeevitam व्यापारैर् बहुभार कार्य गुरुभि कालोपि न ज्ञायते दृष्ट्वा जन्म जरा विपत्ति मरण त्रासशनोत्पत्यते यु सी ओल्ड एज यु सी डेथ यु सी सेपरेशन पेन ऑफ सेपरेशन यु सी द नॉन सेन्स ऑफ इग्नरेंस एवरीवेर स्टिल यू आर नॉट वेकिंग अप you are not afraid the the fear should be intelligent fear is needed trasasan utpadyate why what happened pitva so much you have drunk pitva mohamayim pramadam adiram heedlessness is the sign of in an inebriation ignorant inebriation heedlessness is the sign of ignorant inebriation 
nothing goes inside whatever shastra you hear whatever satsanga you attend talaki velala nothing goes inside unmatta bhudam jagat the world has become unmatta bad no thought about shreyas so <clears throat> when that power wakes up you know we cannot simply artificially imitate bhagwan just lie down and death comes you have to understand what death means the fear of death means with that much intensity perhaps we will not be able to face you have to awaken the entire thing by vairagya by at least in short uh, dose mild dose you need not have a very intense dose mild dose more and more understanding slowly understanding it's all ashashwata ashashwata everywhere you see that that is all death experience that is all death experience in various forms you slowly slowly take mild dose that is enough too much dose we will not be able to stand a little little enough so that will awaken the urgency of enquiry then the enquiry will be intense sincere honest clear then you will find that every pleasure and pain disturbs in the vyasa bhashyam i think it is there for patanjali yoga sutra that he says for a yogi pleasure is also a great vikshepa not simply pain he is not simply trying to avoid pain pleasure is also pain after pleasure also you will be exhausted you your mind will be scattered pain at least is helpful it can somehow generate vairagya but pleasure will not give you vairagya vairagya will not come so when vairagya comes when exhausted with pleasures and pains mostly pain only will help that is why many great people they have said this pain when it visits you have to see deeply then you will find a signature in that pain the signature of bhagwan will be there he has sent you a letter in the form of that pain you come back to me it is time for you to wake up the moment you recognize it you will get the value of it so if without pain nobody will get liberated without suffering nobody will get liberated that is why suffering is there in the world so when exhausted with pleasures and pains and the melodies of doership and enjoyership one thirst for real peace or complete repose just like you are left out in a desert and you want water like that you thirst for the deep peace that shanti of brahma jnana shanti daha is there shanti daha there the words seek liberation reverberates in the ether then that becomes meaningful then you hear mukti it becomes meaningful see in the buddha's life he was a prince every luxury was provided to him very prosperous in such a happy situation 
he went out and saw the world he saw some death somebody in disease somebody in old age somebody suffering from separation he must have seen much more we are just saying that that chana took him and uh, one by one just like a film he is seeing dead body old age this is not like that he must have absorbed things seen many things and got deeply affected depression and he found the meaninglessness of becoming a king even by becoming a chakravarti and emperor i will not go beyond this because he has seen his father's face his grandfather's face all his uncles everyone he has seen all the kshatriya warriors he has seen no peace and in bhagavata dhruva says ghoram kshatram he says this violent terrible kshatriya dharma no peace no shanti dik balam kshatra balam brahma tejo balam balam vishwamitra must have touched that vairagya the story whatever it might be vishwamitra says because when he saw vasishta and he was so powerful vishwamitra was so powerful and vasishta was living in a hut very peaceful no prosperity no luxury but vishwamitra says dik balam kshatra balam my strength as a kshatriya as a warrior as a king all my wealth is worthless nonsense brahma tejo balam balam brahmana balavattaraha the strength of jnana that spirituality is true balam so when a person recognizes that then he realizes i don't want this this worldly becoming somebody in the world it's all nonsense bhagwan used to say even after coming to the ashram the ashram very well maintained ashram he says do you see it's all bondage i used to wander about freely in the hill taking bhiksha and i used to feel myself as a chakravarti emperor and now they have made a sofa the sofa you see in ramnashram now bhagwan used to call it as his jail he used to say his jail and that attendant will come to call bhagwan he will be just wandering about going to goshala and uh, attendant coming bhagwan will say korangatti varam person who controls the monkey is coming arrest warrant is another thing is says arrest warrant and he used to say one should be free absolutely free nothing to bind and that is real freedom karatala viksha tarutala vasa that was bhagwan's life and there is true freedom true liberation so the message of mukti awakens the inner being when you know when you see a jivan mukta living like that that wakes up inside who oh, what am i doing when sick big corporate industry chairman a very successful person no sleep not even time for taking food no sleep he came to trivandamale and was coming with us to going round giri pradakshana and he was talking many things most of the things i could not understand his problems also so after leave after some times i was doing japa and walking and then looked back he was not there and someone else was also there with me he said he is standing there then we went back he was looking at a beggar in the 
सम साधु आई आज टीम वॉट आर यू लुकिंग एट ही सेट एवडो सोक्यो मार्कर सेट हाउ हैपी ही इज वेरी पीसफुली सिटिंग हियर eating some bhiksha somebody has given him bhiksha is eating and he say i am not able to be like him with all this money i am not able to be like him and i will say, tell you reverse also i have seen sadhus bhikshu one bhikshu used to write ramanama in a notebook sitting there and uh, basi asked him why are you doing this for so many years he said i prayed thina nariya panam kadaken sollu he said if i write more and more like this one day i will become a rich person for what again to look at a bhikshu <laughs> come back to do giri pradakshana and look at a bhikshu so this is the drama happening here so it is so neither in becoming a bhikshu nor in becoming a rich person it is within you the shanti is within you you can find it wherever you are you can find it so the power of the ancient one the primordial poet unlocks streams of ecstatic reveries about nirvana this is a magic you know uh, that is why the sages are traveling sometimes you see a jivan mukta the inner one wakes up something happens oh we can also attain that it is possible in the human body this happens swami chinmayananda uh, actually he had great blessedness in his life in his childhood he had connection with chatambi swami he was also a jivan mukta in his youth he saw bhagwan ramana maharshi but that time he did not recognize then he became a journalist and uh, was very revolutionary and he wanted generally the all the journalist they will be leftists so he wanted to write against spiritual life religious life so he wanted he went to rishikesh to explore what is happening there with swami shivananda shivananda ashram and to bring out all the nonsense that the sadhus are doing it is there somewhere in youtube he himself has spoken about this he says i wanted to expose them but in that presence i was exposed my own shallowness was exposed and not only that after staying some days with swami shivananda and those simple sadhus suddenly i felt my god what is happening to me because i am dreaming of becoming a sanyasi and he said no 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 this is not right <laughs> i have come with another purpose now i am dreaming of becoming a sanyasi and i want to escape from this and you know again he committed a blunder to escape from this thought he went to uttarakashi no no badri he says i went to rush ran to badri to do a tapasya so that i can throw this thought out and ultimately ended up becoming sadhu so this is actually don't be afraid it will not happen to everybody <laughs> but when the person is ready for that one touch the kavim kavi naam will wake up the inner poet wakes up and he starts dreaming about liberation start dreaming about that state of jnana um, all those things arises inside so the message of mukti awakens the inner being the power of the ancient one the primordial poet unlocks streams of ecstatic reveries about nirvana this yearning for transcendental other you do not know what it is 
but i want it that other kindled in the soul fascinates the infinite to manifest in flesh and word when the thirst comes in a jeeva that infinite incarnates it comes in body flesh and word that is it it comes in the form of flesh and it comes in the form of word word in the sense that jnana that shabda brahma his message makes the finite see the infinite in its own womb the word makes the finite see the infinite in his own womb in his own heart in his own heart the grace of him makes the bubble swallow the ocean that grace of the inner one makes the bubble swallow the ocean kabalita ghana vishwarupa kiranavalya arunachala paramatman aruno bhavan chitta kanja suvikasay the entire universe is swallowed along with the body along with the mind along with jiva bhava and there is great shantamai povan arunachala there is great shanti peace there so the bubble swallows the ocean thus we come to the mangala shloka ulladu unarvagum undi par உணர்வே நாமாயுளம் உந்திப்பர் இந்த உள்ள நாற்பது எப்படி முடியறது அருள் ரமணன் திஸ் இஸ் பகவான் ரமணஸ் கிரேஸ் உள்ளது நாற்பது இஸ் பகவான் ரமணஸ் கிரேஸ் கிரேஸ் கிருபா வென் வி வாண்ட் பகவான் ரமண மகர்ஷிஸ் கிரேஸ் வி ஹாவ் டு ஸ்டடி உள்ளது நாற்பது உள்ளது நாற்பதும் ஒன்று கலிவெண்பாவாம் உள்ளது காட்டும் ஒளி this is a light this is an effulgence which is revealing the ulladu the satyam the truth this is the light that illumines the ultimate truth satatva saram saralam dadhana mumukshu lokaya mudam dadhana amanusha shri ramaniya vani mayukha bhittihi muni vak vibhati சத்தத்வசாரம் சரளம் ததானா தி சதர்ஷனம் ரிவீல்ஸ் த சத்தத்வசாரம் த எசென்ஸ் ஆஃப் சத்தத்துவ ஆத்ம வித்யா இன் எ சிம்பிள் வே முமுட்சு லோகாய முதம் ததானா இட் கிவ்ஸ் ஜாய் டு த சீக்கர் ஆஃப் லிபரேஷன் அமானுஷ்ரீ ரமணீயவாணி த டிரான்சென்டல் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரமணம் Amanusha, it is not human, it is divine. Amartya, Amanusha Shri Ramaniya Vani. And Muni, Vasishta Ganapati Muni has translated. So, Mayuka Bhitti, he says, I am just a mirror in which I have reflected Mayuka Bhitti. My words are just Mayuka Bhitti, a wall made of mirror. It is just reflecting Maharshi's words. Anubhuti, Maharshi's words, Muni Vak Vibhati. So this is Saddarshanam, this is Ulladhanarpadu. Ulladala dulla unar ullado ullaporul, Ullalara ullatte ulladal, Ullamenum ullaporul ullalevan ullapadi. உள்ளதே உள்ளல் உணர்வாயே உள்ளே யூ ஹாவ் டு வேக் அப் டு த உள்ளது எக்ஸிஸ்டன்ஸ் சத் இன் யுவர் ஓன் ஹார்ட் தேர் யூ ஹாவ் டு செட்டில் ஆல் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் தென் தேர் ஆர் நோ ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் அவுட் சைட் த விஸ்ராந்தி ஹேஸ் டு பி ரீச்ட் அட்டெயின் வித் இன் தேட் ஈஸ் the essence message bhagwan ramana attained that supreme gnanam and his gnanam he has bestowed in the form of ulladinarpad 
these forty verses, and how many days? Forty days? Huh? Huh? Thirty-seven. That's a. So, um, it's one of the most elaborate talks we have spoken on Bhagavatam elaborately, but so many stories, many things. It's a very, very big book. But Ulla the Narpade, we have spoken for so many days. Those who listen. they will certainly attain that wisdom that contemplation must be there adaravai teedum kal with reverence one has to do the enquiry then it will give the greatest fruit that we are after so tomorrow so satsanga today this english satsanga is over um namam cholli cut panni vidla param peshal aruna chala shiva aruna chala shiva aruna chala shiva aruna chala shiva अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुणा यो मम आत्मा भवसी तो नवाच्यम मम किंचित अस्थ यथा